เรียบครั้งปุ๊บNine minutes. I almost died in the video. Remember that while editing. Put that in front. Seven days of the week. I got ways we can eat. Counting ways on the beach. Learning names we can meet. I'm booked. I'm booked. I'm what up, everybody? Okay. I wanted to have a singing intro. All the other mug things have singing intros. That's not me, guys. It's got to be authentic, and I have to eat this fast because today I'm doing a Sam's Club mukbang. Um, yep, and I'm gonna be leaving town pretty soon, so I got to do this, get out of here. Um, but you know, I'm blessed, blessed to wake up this morning. Got my Parmesan cheeses on Dicky, and then this is a pear cucumber. I usually I try to drink water. I didn't bring a straw. I have two lids though. Uh, I didn't bring a straw, so I'm just going to drink straight out of it. I'm trying to drink water, but Sam, I wasn't going to get a drink. It's $2, I think, for the pizza, and then the drink makes it two fifty. I was like, all right, let me get the drink. They do got this nice pear cucumber thing going on. And this is supposed to be a frozen yogurt parfait, berry, 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 something. I don't remember what it's called, um, but it's probably in the title. I'll look it up for the title. But they ran out of, she was having trouble with the vanilla, and so she was like, would you like more chocolate? Um, I can put chocolate in the cheese, like I gave you extra berries too, so that's gonna be cool. I get this sometimes, not too much, but I get it. And um, but it has a lot of um, berries in it, and it's a lot of sugar, so but I like it, I like it, I think it's delicious. So I'm gonna get started, and then I just got the regular pizza, pepperoni. She was like, You want the, f the four meat? I was like, No, give me the pep, I don't need all that extra, all that extra meat, please. Me and the pepperoni and the cheese were fine. Um, so anyway, I'm going to bless this food and I'm going to eat before this melts. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for today. Thank you, Lord God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you for everything you've done. Um, bless this food, oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm doing a real prayer. Sorry, guys. Anyway, <laughs> bless this food, oh Lord God, and help it to nourish our bodies, nourish my body. Um, and please, oh Lord God, provide for those who do not have. And I pray that um, you will bless the source from which this can be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My phone's ringing. Let me see what that is. Well, it was ringing, and then it died, so I'm going to have to go. Uh, I was charging it over there. I have to call that person back. Anyway, into the mud, bang. Get started on this. Ooh. Hold on. A little spoon here. I know you got a thing. So, Kenya, how's it going? You told us you're planning for New Year's. How are things going? Well, if you guys might not know, I'm a poet. And if you know anything about being an artist, you know that it's very hard. You know, there's not an unlimited opportunity to make money. They don't really tell you how exactly. I mean, you can go through the school system and, you know, go to a nice publisher and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, that's not guaranteed. And if that doesn't work out, those guys don't accept you. And you just spend all your time and all your money investing into that. I don't know, you know, maybe you teach or something. I got a little bit into it. Just go ahead and try it. Hasn't always worked out. Um, but I definitely learned a lot of stuff along the way. That's for sure. Definitely learned a lot of stuff along the way. So I'm grateful for you know my journeys through it. But anyway, okay. Um, so yeah, being a poet, it's not, it's, 
Of all the artists, being a poet is probably the hardest one. I think there's probably the smallest amount of room for poets. Um, I mean, uh, San Antonio is actually kind of an anomaly that way, in where there is a strong open mic scene in San Antonio. Um, but it's not profitable, you know? It's just, uh, I mean, it can be, I, mean, I guess, for someone, if you like sell merch, and there, there are, it is profitable. I just mean that the, they're not paying the features or anything like that. I think sometimes they are. They're not paying the, the regular artists, I mean. So, unless you stay in it for a long time and become a feature, but even then, it's not like you're gonna, unless you travel and go on tour, which I see a lot of poets do do, once you do that, you're not really going to make a, you know, because you're not going to do, you'll do like one feature a year in your city, maybe three, maybe, maybe five. Mm -hmm. So, and a good number of those will probably be unpaid, so. But anyway. So I had my goals for the year, I told you guys I'm going to be focusing on. Last year was music streaming and um, performances for me. And um, yeah, and that was pretty cool. So I, I leveled up my performances and stuff, but this year's poetry and art. And so far it's been kind of fun. Mm, I had somebody sponsor a poem yesterday, so I got to write a poem. I haven't got the feedback yet. I don't know if she liked it. And that's kind of something I want to do more this year. But anyway, I'm not doing all this to advertise, just kind of telling you guys what I'm thinking about. But today I'm going to go feed my, go out of town, visit my parents. It's going to be fun. My dad's cool. They got a bunch of chickens. Yep. So, in other pop culture news, what's going on in pop culture? Roddy Rich is killing it with the box. Mm, that song is so fire. I don't know what he's saying, though. I'm going to look at the lyrics, and I have a feeling I might not like it. I might not like the lyrics, but to be honest with you, I'm being a little snobby now as a poet. I don't really like most lyrics. I don't. There are some musicians who are poets. And then there's a lot of musicians who are just great musicians. And they I don't really pay attention to their lyrics because if I did, I wouldn't like their lyrics. And I'm not there for the lyrics, I'm there for their musicianship. Like you don't listen to a Jimi Hendrix song and be like, You little flat there, Jimmy. No. You're like, Oh, you're the most amazing guitarist ever. Well and Danielle makes fun of me about this. I don't listen to lyrics a lot. I mean the I'm there for the beat. And that's where he's killing it. And he's doing some stuff locally that I really like. But, um, all this Trump stuff. I'm not going to talk about that. Annoying. Shouldn't have even said the name. It's just overdone in the news. Overdone. And it's overdone on social media. Everyone thinks they have an opinion. Anyway, an opinion not backed up with action is destruction. I don't like it. Okay, I'm quickly going to become the worst mukbang channel ever if I continue down this direction. So I'm going to try to keep it light and hearty. I meant airy. Light and airy, not hearty. Hearty is the opposite of light. This is a hard name. I think I'm kind of full. Hmm. <coughs> 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 Almost died. Hmm. Almost died. Too much parmesan. <coughs> At nine minutes, I almost died in the video. Remember that while editing. To put that in the front. But anyway. 
um, Light the Mary. TikTok is a lot of fun. I wish my phone wasn't dead. I've been posting on TikTok. You guys on TikTok? Follow me at Kenyo HQ. I realize like people do that stuff like professionally. And when an app is new, like anyone can compete, but at a certain point when someone's taking an app so seriously, it becomes hard to compete with them. And on the marketing business side, I can Completely destroyed that piece of it. On the marketing business side, I understand. I understand why Ooh. I understand why she'd be on TikTok, kill TikTok. <clears throat> I realized that on the action standpoint, I haven't, um, I haven't, I haven't fully committed. I'm not doing as much as I should. I'm not even close. I'm doing maybe three, four TikToks a day. And even if I was gonna, if someone was to ask me, which is crazy, I would recommend to them to do like seven or eight just for the market. It's a new platform. So why aren't I doing more? Um, I don't know. You know. It's like, I don't have my phone on me like that. And I do, but like, to be in TikTok that much. And I, I anyway, those are excuses. So in this coming week, I'm gonna try to do better on that. I try to do like three or four TikToks a week. So if you like TikTok, go ahead and follow me over on TikTok. Tony Polanco, the musician, just sent me back a feature on a little soundtrack I released. <laughs> for some videos I'm doing, I, I, but it was a song, a little song I put out uh, called All My Friends Are CEOs. It's the live videos also on this YouTube channel of me doing that at Garden Open Gardens. And, uh, got some, got some yogurt. Got some yogurt on my, on my shirt. Mm. Okay. But, um, She accidentally put this huge strawberry on there, and she was like, I gave you extra berries because the yogurt was running out. I was like, okay. I think you just accidentally put a strawberry on there. If that counts as a win, it counts as a win. Don't look a gift horse in the mouse. Mouth, not the mouse. Back to what I was saying. Um, ooh, I can talk about what I was just watching, too. I'll talk, one second. Um, yeah, so one... Um, the, the video of me performing all my friends to see us, Tony Polanco just sent me the part where he puts his verse on it. And, um, that's cool. So I'm going to be dropping that probably today. Um, I have a lot of work to do today. Uh, but I'm going to be dropping that maybe today, maybe on Monday. I might want to do some, but I want to film a music video for it in about a month. Speaking of which, my next one event is going down. Black Dot Studio, but anyway, um, so, that's cool, Got probably all over the place right now, I'm just thinking about a million different things, I was just watching The Breakfast Club, uh, Donnell Rollins was on there, it's pretty funny, Charlemagne is doing this thing where he has a, a rubber mold, I don't even want to talk about it, to be honest, but, uh, I was watching a little bit of that, <laughs> I was like, minutes into that. Donald Rawlings super funny. If you don't know him, he's the comedian who performs with Dave Chappelle. Um, and I actually saw Dave Chappelle live here in San Antonio at the Aztec Theater, where I also get to host Raw um, when I get to host, which is the last five or so, six times in a row, but who knows what the future holds, but apparently there's more demand for raw now, so that's pretty cool. 
Some say it's because of the host. Some do. Not everyone's saying that. A lot of people are saying it's because of Millicent. Number one Roth volunteer. I like to do little shout outs like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so Donna Wrongs. So he was, he opened for Dave when I saw Dave left. So I got to see Donna Rollins live too. So it's cool to see him all over the Breakfast Club. Man. This is good. What I really think about life as a whole is that you just got to be grateful for stuff. Grateful for every moment, every day. I know sometimes it's super hard to feel grateful because you're super caught up in anxiety, worry. And you know what? Some of that stuff is so real. Like the problems are enormous, gigantic. Ah, oh, man. But um, hope you guys know that there's always a way out. Um, always, there's always a way out. Anytime you feel stuck, it's because, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the day, we're just humans on earth and we've built some really big buildings. We've come up with some really big ideas, some really big systems at the end of the day. Dang, else says her mom says that a lot. But, um, you know, <laughs> there really is no such thing as debt. And I'm not saying that in a way that like, oh, you shouldn't worry about your debt. You should, because you told somebody that you were going to pay them. But it's not a real thing. Like, if you're walking around the planet, you can see debt. And so I think you need to... And you need to learn that because I think sometimes the fear around those things um, and the leverage and shame and just a bunch of different things, it causes you to con like get into a cycle of continuously making bad decisions. Or, you know, it, it can sometimes seem like it's hard. I think sometimes there are things that box us into those situations. People can trap us. We can trap ourselves. We can get trapped in our ideas. We can get trapped in other people's ideas. Um, we just always have to remember that such a thing is trapped. You and me are free. Free to fly through the sky like angels. Okay. It's me being dramatic, but you know, we're free. We really are free. And I don't want you to forget about freedom. Okay, we're not going to get all super deep into that. If you want to get into freedom, I have this poem on my YouTube page called New Slates. Go read that. Go listen to that. It's all about freedom. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm really excited for today. It's end of the week. The week's over. The week's over, my friends, for me. Right now, you might be watching this on a Monday and your week's just starting, but uh, I'm going to relax. I'm going to really try to organize some of my favorite songs and music and videos this week and just have a really clear, 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 clear plan for the week ahead of me um, because, you know what, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be... Um, be in a situation where there's opportunity, you know, and the opportunity might be on the other side of some work, some hard work, um, but it's also on the other side of some patience. It's also on the other side of some rest. It's also on the other side of some recharge. It's also on the other side of some love. It's also on the other side of some family. It's also on the other side of some peace. You know what I mean? So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see y'all on the flip side on Monday. 
I think I'm going to try to do at least three mukbangs a week. I hope you guys like the mukbang thing because I eat anyway and I like to talk with you guys. And It's a way of layering my life so that I'm not taking, I don't have too much extra time. So every day now is just about making the most of the time that I do have. And if I'm going to eat anyway and watch something, well then I might as well um, eat and make something for you to watch or something like that because it's just as much fun. Because uh, when I'm recording these, I'm thinking about all the other comments, all the people who might see it later on, and stuff like that sometimes. And so that always makes me happy. Cause it's fun, actually, to put content out. That's the thing about social media. It's fun. It can be a lot of other things, but it's really just a video game. A video game where people all over the world get to contribute. And we click and we click and you can be good at it and whatever, whatever. Just another hustle, 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 hustle. And this always been best means. You know, people used to go to plays all the time. That's all TikTok and all this new stuff is. It's just the, the new way for thespians. We Hollywood consolidated all the power for thespianism, you know, into like a handful of people's hands and then technology was like no everyone can create art and creativity and share it so good i'm glad that we're able to do this this be in the house i'm gonna kill it all right guys thanks for watching this mukbang maybe i'll try to let it out safely okay thanks for watching this um like subscribe um please stay tuned um, well, the one thing I'm going to do, I'm a media mogul, so I'm going to be putting songs at the end of my mukbangs. So please stay tuned to uh, this um, song. Uh, I'm going to put a song today. I'm going to do Mr. Composition Cloud Vibe on this video. I'm going to stop saying which video I'm going to do because I might change my mind. But I know right now I will do Mr. Composition's Cloud Vibe. So listen to Mr. Composition's Cloud Vibe. Like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, guys. Yeah. Yo. Uh. I stop resisting change. Yeah. Cause when I look back, nothing was the same Trying to keep my head above water is the game But I've been so close to drowning, it's the same Took the leap of faith and I almost missed my aim No damage to my body cause my ego took the pain I'm navigating muddy waters, call me Red Man It's hard to stay on top of what's on the newsstand Where problems keep popping up like a new brand Want the world to understand In reality, no one really gives a damn And that should be freeing, but the feeling's fleeting On the quest to find a deeper meaning it's the truth what I'm seeing Daybreak up for the day dreaming Every angel has a demon And if Richard Spencer is good I guess I'm a villain But I'm just chilling Trying to catch a ride 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 On cloud vibe Trying to catch a ride 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 On cloud vibe You trying to catch a ride 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 On cloud vibe Who trying to catch a ride 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 on cloud five, yo. Uh, true growth happens in darkness. Time keeps moving on regardless whether you're heartless or harmless. If you're scared, go to church, pass the West Sunday service. Even if my body's novice, the soul's older than comprehension. Bloodline and cryptic, throwing off their pattern recognition. Kings move with precision. You confuse my reflection for hesitation. Was your fatal action? How many ideas that changed the world was written on a napkin? It all started with the vision. Ways being brought to a higher vibration. Shadow box my shadow self, watch it play out in the sky. You don't need enemies when it's I against I, another day, another try of the words I live by. The Joker and the Clown are not the same guy. Can't break universal treaties with a man made borderline. Trying to catch a ride, ride, ride. On Cloud Vibe, trying to catch a ride, ride, ride. On Cloud Vibe, you trying to catch a ride, ride, ride. On Cloud Vibe, who trying to catch a ride, ride. Ride on cloud vibe, trying to catch a ride. Ride, ride on cloud vibe, trying to catch a ride. Ride, ride 
on cloud five, you tryna catch a ride, 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 on cloud five, who tryna catch a ride, 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 on cloud five. Japanese, my bun, Boku Wariari Mas, 